Welcome back to Mrs O'Gram's Maths. As promised at the end of the last video, which took you through the plan section of the bivariate project, we're now moving on to doing the data. So for this, we first of all need to have our data set. So I've got it ready here in Excel. And you can see that down through those lists, we've got all of the information that was given to us about these diamonds. So first of all, I want to copy that. Then I'm going to go across to NZ Grapher and paste it into uh, the data table there. And now we've got our data set. Now, because this data actually came from NZ Grapher, this is already actually preloaded for you as one of the data sets here if you want to go that way. But so that you know how to use this in the future, I've shown you how to import that data. Next, we want to select a scatter graph. And once we've got the scatter graph loaded up, we need to select our variables. So we were going to do carrot versus price. Now it's important you get those the right way around. Your explanatory variable must be on the X um, axis. And you can remember it with explanatory being on the X axis and your response variable needs to be on the Y. To make that happen, your first variable is carrot and your second is price. If they come out the wrong way around, just switch those two over. So the first thing that we're going to do is give this a sensible title. So down here, I change the title and then click on update graph. And before putting anything onto that graph, we are just going to copy that one and put it into our project. And then back at NZ Grapher, um, I'm going to get the other one, although actually what you'll do is go away and do the analysis first. But while I'm here, I'm going to get the one that's also got the regression line on it. So we click on regression line down here and I'm going to copy that one because I know that I will need it later on. And paste it into our project as well. And that's it. So for getting the data that you need, and in fact, I'll probably make that a bit bigger, and put them underneath each other. I'll just hide that one off to the side for a minute and come back to it later. So to get the, the data part of this done is very simple. You just go on NZ Grapher and enter those um, variables. Then you'll do some analysis on this graph, and then you'll go back to NZ Grapher. You'll pull up this one uh, with the regression line on it, and you'll do some analysis on that too. So this one here, we'll put further down. After you've done the analysis, you'll come back to um, this one. Now I'm deliberately telling you to do some analysis on that graph without the line first, because part of this internal is that you can visually inspect uh, what's happening to the graph without using a model before you put the model on, putting the line on, is applying a model to this graph. So you first of all say what you can see here without any lines on it, especially because if you start to look at this one, um, you you might be forced to see things that aren't there if you, if you look at it with a line on it, but without the line, you can see a bit better of what's actually going on. So that's the data section, nice and straightforward. The next video will take you through the analysis section and how to work through doing a simple analysis of that graph.